Almost a year after the election that brought Mexico's president, Enrique Peña Nieto, to power, some of the country's youth are crying SOS. <laughs> On Saturday, protesters organizing under the banner Mexico SOS clashed with police inside a Mexico City metro station. Activists plan to occupy the president's official residence to express frustration with the government's handling of poverty and corruption. The protest kicked off a month of action called Operation Disobedience. And one of the group's projects is this, a map where citizens can submit anonymous reports of corruption, violence and disappearances. We turn now to Jordan, where more than 200 news sites vanished from the web over the weekend. They were blocked when they failed to comply with a new law that requires Jordanian news sites to register with the government press department. The blog Hibber obtained and published a full list of the sites that went dark. The Jordanians are calling it censorship, and they, like Ibrahim Owais, who suggested we cover this story, are going online to speak out. And our last lead in Turkey. Anti-government protests are spreading across the country, but residents say local media isn't keeping up. <laughs> Hundreds gathered outside headquarters of the channel NTV to criticize the network's coverage of the demonstrations, which started in Istanbul's Taksim Square. Criticism of Turkish television wasn't limited to NTV. This photo showing CNN Turk on the left airing a documentary about penguins, while CNN International covers the protests, summarize the criticisms of many. Grihaz writes, please help. Istanbul needs media coverage. Turkish media has been sold out. We'll take a closer look at what's behind the protests on Tuesday's show, so tweet us your thoughts. Femi?